beautiful day today. We had a cold front last night, blow through storms. And we got about two weeks left until Memorial Day. So there's an old saying that between Memorial Day and Independence Day, that's when the catfish spawn, the catfish kind of go down. So we're kind of late in the season. Whoa. And we got a cold front blow in last night. So I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do much good. But there's only one way to find out. Stay with me. Alright y'all, I probably should not do this, but I'm going to. You know why? Because I care about you, that's why. I live to be a blessing to everybody. Not just me. I live to be a blessing to you. So therefore, I want to tell you my secret fishing spot. Wow. Whoa! Wow! 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 Good job! <laughs> wow! We're camping here at the Wildcat Creek Park. There's four different places in this park you can't get to one another because they shut their roads down because the lake went dry so you got to take a different road to get to each spot this spot we're at right now is what i call wildcat creek the spot back behind me is what we call wildcat bluff place way down that way is what we call wildcat point because it comes out to a point that's where the wildcat creek and the colorado river that's where they join together the mouth of the wildcat and then way over there where the boat ramp is that's wildcat flat so there's got four today we's camping here at the wildcat creek because we got guests coming they got kayaks we're going to monitor all this creek we're going to put out uh, like two dozen jugs and we're going to put trot lines over there too we're just going to load out the whole thing and fishing poles and hot dogs here is your single outdoors tip of the week Da, 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 da. Hey, if you run it low on storage place in your truck, you can always use your boat as a storage trailer to put all your fucking stuff in your old army sleeping cot. It still stinks like the army old sleeping cots too. It, but whatever, that's why I put it in the boat. You got an extra storage room back here. So you can come to the campsite with all of your luxuries. Let's get to it. They're so pretty, huh? Those um, that should be. Dead. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got brand new trot line. We're gonna show you how to do this, brother Trevor's trot line. This here is a double surgeon knot. This here is what we call a ranger knot. Watch this. I ain't even gonna tie a knot. Just slip it right over. Slip it right through. Ta-da! Range knot. Got that? And there you 
I've got 10 yards before the first float goes on. This is the best trial line system in Texas. Woo! There you go. I've got 30 feet on here until the first knot. It is Texas Parks and Wildlife laws and regulations to put your tag ID on first. Take our last float with our tag ID. All right, watch this. You ready? Woo! What are we at? We're at 15 feet right now. Salt cedars come up to about 10 feet. Halfway between the surface is where all of our baits are. I don't need to sink them to the bottom. I like to hold them about five feet off of the top, and these floats do just fine. I need that red box right there. Yes, that one. Oh man, my my Garmin just said that Popo Popo just came in with no fish. Oh man, it's a bag of venison livers that Ellie destroyed about three months ago. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. These venison livers are pre-cut, ready to go. All you gotta do is take the leader, put on a little venison liver like that, hook it on here to this double surgeon knot, toss in the water, you're good to go. Go on to the next one. There's the last leader, there's the last float, I'm just gonna let it go. Bye-bye. 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 All right, y'all. We got two trot lines put out. We got 11 noodles on the north side of the lake. We've got seven flags over here. We're going to eat us some hot dogs, have some supper. And then we're going to go back out on the lake. We're going to go some nighttime fishing. It's going to be lots of fun. Look at this fashion statement right here. What? Sunglasses oh, at the campfire. Look at that. Fashion. Perfect. So beautiful. Hot. All right, y'all, good morning. Hey, the Milky Way last night, it just exploded. It was so beautiful. The Milky Way was amazing last night. What amazing last night? Okay, hey, look, we got. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this right here. I think we got one. I'm pretty sure we did. Okay. Jump up there. Real, real, real. Yep. Yep. Oh, is he on there? Oh, you got oh. you a carp. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. And just kind of flop them over here on the on the land, not in the, on the land, not in the boat. He's Daddy, a big one. Looky, that's a carp. Is that a carp? Yeah, that's a carp. He's considered a non-game animal, so we'll keep him for different reasons. I don't know where I've been. I don't know.
right now. Wow. A big turtle. Can we get him out of the water? Uh, we need to just let him go. Yeah. Let him go. Oh. Can we get him out? Yeah. Oh. He's a snapper. Oh, he's a snapper. No, he's not a snapper. He's not. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got more fish to catch. Okay, more fishies. All right, y'all. Hey, look. When you're breaking down your tent, don't be like those guys that try to put the tent back in the original packaging. That never works. Just get you another little bag like this from Walmart. Ozark Trail right there. $10. Just put your bag, your tent in a different bag. And it's got all these extra compartments right there. So... That's a much easier way to do it. That catfish. Mm, Three twenty-five. Seven minutes. Hush puppies. Three twenty-five. Three minutes. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it really good? Yeah. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, I like Brother Trevor's catfish too. Yeah. But you, you <laughs> caught the one. You just ate it though. Yeah. Okay, y'all. We finished to eat all this catfish. This is why we do this. That's right. Uh, to, to come over to somebody else's house and eat their food. That's why we do it. Did you have fun at Catfish Camp? Yeah. Can you tell me about it? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And, um, it's a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. Good, great weather. Maybe not the greatest catfish catching, but. That's okay. We knew that going into it. That's right. But, but we still caught enough so we could eat. Hey, check out what we got. That's all that's left over. We still got some in there. This completes our video. Please click like and subscribe. Next year. And hey, we'll go or next week. next week. We'll go next week, catch some more. Sometimes. Yeah. All right, watch our video next week. I think I could say very confidently if you've never seen a total eclipse, you should owe it to yourself to see it once in your lifetime. It's amazing. We flew, drove walked, ran, whatever we were going to do to get here, we were going to do it.